I recently put a blog up on my uh, website, matthewsrabadoo.com, uh, basically talking about lessons from the Winter Olympics now. Uh, I know the Winter Olympics is, uh, is finished now and it all seems to go in quite a blur. Um, but definitely from my point of view, but I, you know, I watched some of it and I really enjoyed what I did watch. Um, but it definitely, definitely went quicker uh, than I thought it did. Um, but one of the key things that I always get, especially from watching sports, um, and especially with the Olympics, because there isn't the same um, sort of publicity, there isn't the same uh, levels of money involved, I suppose. A lot of the people that are competing are actually competing more out of passion than, uh, than payment. Um, it's really interesting to see how happy those people are when they are competing. Um, win, lose or draw. I think everybody I saw at the, the latest Winter Olympics looked to be having a great, great time. Uh, and I'll be honest, it, it did make me feel envious because, you know, um, I am quite a physical guy. I like to work out, I uh, like to train, um, and I know how it feels when you do something really, really well. Um, the key lesson that I took away from the Olympics was to do what you love. Um, to do what you love and to love what you're doing. Uh, which the Olympians clearly do and did. Um, and ultimately, one of the things that kind of I carried away from that was that there's always things that are not going to be exactly, you know, how you want them, not exactly as interesting or exciting as you want them to be. Uh, but you, they can be enjoyed and they can be looked forward to. And again, you know, I talk a lot about goals. Ultimately, there is a goal there. So some of these Olympians, you know, their training regimes, if you were to speak to them, if you were to know what they actually had to do on a daily basis, you know, some of these guys are work, guys and girls, that they're, uh, they're waking up at three and four o'clock in the morning, they're training two or three day, times a day, um, they're eating seven or eight meals a day, um, you know, it's consistent, it's uh, permanent almost, um, and it's a way of life, and, you know, some people say this can be very easy for sports people because they've got a very definitive goal. Yes, it's easier because most sports people know what their goal is. It's to be the best. Uh, but the road to getting there, when you actually delve into the dedication that they need to show and apply, is, is, is huge. Uh, it's not something to be glossed over. you know. Um, and I think we need to remember that. But also we need to apply the principle to ourselves. So... You know, I use the example of uh, doing the ironing. You know, I look at the ironing pile and I think to myself, God, you know, I really don't want to do that. Um, it's not something that interests me, it's not about the boat. Um, and it's it's not something that I see as being one of the keys. Now, there's a different decision we can make with regards to that. We can pay somebody to do it, which is easy. Um, although there is a cost to us, obviously, which is a financial one. But ultimately, if it's something that I don't want to pay somebody to do and I've got to do it myself, then I can look at it, you know, realistically one of two ways. I can look at it as a negative and feel really sad and, and depressed about the fact that I'm going to have to do it. Or what I can do is I can do it, but I can do it with the right frame of mind. So I can relish the fact that, yes, I'm going to sit there ironing for two hours, but I'm going to have some peace and quiet, hopefully. Um, I can listen to music, which I don't often do outside of being in the car. Um, you know, I might not put the music on. It might be silence that I work in. And again, that can give me time to think, whether it's about uh, my business, whether it's about all the other facets of my life. But the point is, is, is I can reframe that, those thoughts about ironing from the negative to the positive. So bottom line is, if you find yourself doing things that you're not enjoying, um, either find a way to uh, delegate it or get rid of it. But whatever you do, don't dwell on the fact uh, that it's not something that you enjoy. Either do it and enjoy doing it to the best of your ability, or don't do it at all, because it's honestly not worth it. It's not worth it mentally, um, and all it's going to do is uh, hurt you, or be maybe not in a physical way, but in a mental way. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful. Uh, please comment on the blog. Thank you.